Hi guys and welcome to your pick a card reading. Um, today we've got a lot of like crown chakra stones on top of these things. Um, so let's get started. The first one we have in pile one is the Oracle Energies, uh, Oracle of the Seven Energies, sorry, uh, deck. And there's a clear quartz on top of that. So hold this up so you guys, I'm terrible at the camera. <laughs> there we go, little clear quartz, really pretty. Um, and then next we have the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle. And it's a really pretty red deck. Love that for us. And then we've got, uh, it's called TV Stone, but I don't remember the actual name of it. If I can find it, I'll figure it out. But it's, I know it's called like TV Stone or something like that. But it's like kind of a cool arrowy shape. And then we have the Moonology deck. Um, and this one has Moonstone on it. That's what it was called to me. It's not even cliche like you would think, but pretty cool, right? So take your time, pick your reading. Um, remember that this is just a guide. Um, this is just for your purpose of leading you down uh, a path through my channeling through source, um, through source energy. And I hope that it finds you well. I hope, you know, sometimes you might resonate with more than one deck and that's okay. So take your time, um, meditate on it. Uh, you can choose by crystals, you can choose by the deck. Doesn't matter how you choose, but just choose the one that calls you the most and I'll see you soon. Howdy there, pile one. Okay, pile one, you guys chose the Oracle of the Seven Energies deck and the Clear Quartz. So, um, Clear Quartz is a stone that for me resonates with just, it's a serious clearing stone. It gets rid of all the negative shit and also leaves space for new stuff to come in. Um, it's that stone that clears other crystals. Like it's very powerful that way. So let's get those crown chakra things pump in and see what happens in this reading. We're gonna put our clear crystal up there so we can start. And yeah, let's go. I'm ready, I'm ready, okay. So we're gonna draw some cards and see what's next in my pile one's career path. What's next in my pile one's career path? What's next in career path in my pile one's? All right, let's see. And I'm gonna, ooh. Healing the heart. Okay, that's our first. Oh, that jumped right out too, and this one too is calling. The royal you. Ooh, these are nice. I like the sound of this. Sacred reverence. Okay, let's put this one over here. I think we have one more that's calling me. Um, let's see, it needs to come out there. Oh, two, it was two. Okay, two it is. All right. Let's see. We've got seeing beyond and close encounters. Interesting. Okay, so let me see if I can center these so you guys can kind of see what's going on here. Um, what I'm getting immediately off the bat is that you guys are maybe possibly in a pretty decent place in your career and you feel like you're at a standing point, like you are ready to move up, kind of level up and change some things. And what I'm also feeling is that maybe within this career jump or this recent career path that you've made, let me get this out of the way because it looks very unclean. Um, in, this, in this career path that you've chosen, maybe there's some things within that make you feel a little unsatisfied or it's like you thought that this was your dream, you are so sure, but there's just things within it that aren't resonating with you. Um, and it almost feels as though you're working toward trying to rediscover your passion for it and what it actually made you feel in the first place and why you're there. Um, and I think that's what spirit is trying to translate is that you have to rediscover that sacred heart, that sacred reverence, uh, you know, the, this in your stillness, you know, and that maybe means that maybe means like, sorry guys, I'm having a hard time talking today. <laughs> maybe that means like, you know, going through a meditative process and, you know, revisiting that old self um, and discussing it with them and seeing what was the spark. Um, because I feel like you guys have kind of like run yourselves into the ground. And maybe if you are someone who hasn't quite reached their peak or pinnacle in their career, maybe it's just like a lull in your career. Maybe it's something that, you know, you really feel like, damn, like I, 
wish that I could do more here, but I just don't know. Um, and I think there's gonna, there's like a transformation that's going to be happening. And it says close encounter, so I'm kind of getting the feeling of maybe there's like a new mentor figure coming into your life. Um, someone that's going to help you see where you should go next or what is going to take you into the next place. And I feel like they're going to be kind of unexpected. Like you may think that it's going to be like somebody within your field, but it could be somebody that's completely like left field, like somebody who has nothing to do with your field. And I think that's what the seeing beyond is saying is like seeing beyond the surface level of what's there. Um, because there's somebody around you that's really going to teach you something and they're going to help you understand and heal from this like little bit of stagnation that's going on. Um, because I really do feel with this, the Royal U card that you guys are, you're at a pretty decent spot in your career or you're like in a spot where you know what you want to do, but you're trying to figure out how to get there next. So let's draw some tarot and see what else we got. We're going to use the true heart intuitive tarot. All right. Um, and already I see the Ace of Swords. So I feel like, uh, like in the deck, do you guys see that? Ace of Swords, oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> there you go, I'm just stop telling myself I'm terrible. But yeah, there you go, Ace of Swords. It's right there for you. Um, fast movement, like let's go. Like it's, it's. I feel like it's gonna come quickly, this change, this discovery. Um, and you know, what's coming next? I, and I get, maybe some of you guys are music artists. That came into my mind. Uh, maybe you guys play music or produce music um, or just artists in general, maybe you guys. And I also get the feeling of like, um, if not artists, then like business business people, like people who are in the nine to five. Like you guys have like chopped it up and come so far, man, the shuffling is rough today. But you guys have come so far and um, King of Cups, ooh, exciting. And yeah, it's that, ooh, yes, 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 there we go. It's right there. Um, oh, we have one more, I think, yeah. Feels like we have one more. I think my energy feels a little like erratic, honestly, because there's like this anxiety of trying to figure it out, like super fast, whoa, two guys came out, mm-hmm. Okay, so we've got here, we've got the Four of Wands and we got the Queen of Wands. We've got the Nine of Wands and we've got the King of Cups. And immediately this King of Cups energy is very like this lackadaisical like feeling of non-progression. It's almost like you've got everything. Like you are full of whatever it is materially that you're full of. You know, you've gotten a lot of what you wanted um, and you've manifested a lot of things that you wanted. And Four of Wands to me is like, for reals, like, you know, it, they're showing this couple here in matrimony, but I think it's just a realigning with your joy for what you love to do and refinding that. And I think by giving yourself, you know, time to kind of reassess and, you know, maybe business has just become too you become too material focused. Maybe that's what it is. Maybe it's that you become too material focused and that it's just causing you a lot of turmoil and a lot of stress where you don't even know that the turmoil and stress is happening. Um, does that make sense? I hope I'm kind of, this is like a very like kind of erratic reading almost for me because the feeling in my chest is almost like ang this anxious, like gotta get it done now feeling. And I feel like maybe you guys are rushing to get this, feeling off your chest and heal quickly when in fact maybe it might take some time and maybe you need to give yourself the time that it takes to heal and let go of the anxiety and depression maybe I don't know depression is not the word but anxiety is just in my chest is in my mind maybe some of you guys are depressed I don't know but the anxiety that's in this this field that you used to care about so much you know it, I think it's weighing you down like Maybe it's come from judgment of others. Maybe it's come from the feeling of having to uphold a certain kind of image. And you almost feel like you can't do it anymore. You're feeling like, ugh, like I don't know if I even want to do this anymore, you know? But I think if you're able to heal 
those things and you know what those things are you know what's been bothering you um and if you don't know ask you know ask the universe um to help you with those things but it's just as if like this queen of wands this like abundant multifaceted energy is coming it's coming for you that's what's coming next is i feel like you're gonna be needing to try new stuff you know you're gonna be needing to try new angles you're gonna have to try new ways of doing what you've always done maybe you guys i don't know why bakers came into my main my my main into my mind but the reason i say that is because i hear the song patty cake patty cake bakers man bake me a cake as fast as you can roll it and pat it and mark it with a whatever number or whatever letter put it in the oven for so and so well, like maybe like it just sounds like that's when it's you've been doing this and this has been your passion for so long and like now you're rolling it up you're patting it up you know you're healing it up and you're gonna put it back in the oven because you are you know it seems like something you've done a million times but maybe it just needs to be reassessed and re-looked at in a different way and maybe that just means trying different things outside of your field and leaving this kind of alone for a while you know i know if you guys are busy and you have businesses it might be difficult to do this but even giving yourself an hour of time to do something new and change the brain pattern i think will be really helpful here um yeah that's what i'm feeling that's what i'm getting what do we need okay let's go Kuan Yin next let's go there let's go to that girl so this Wild Kuan Yin deck is one of my favorites because it's just so honest and I feel like it just has so much, you know, just reverence in it. Like it just feels like, ooh, like when you get these messages, you're like, aw, oh, snap. Um, so I'm going to read the actual message um, from this book um, for you guys. We're going to draw one of these, right? Yeah, we're going to draw one. Um, and I think it's going to be... The, what you've been thinking of it's going to be what you've been looking for in this career change or career path or what's coming next um oh we got two which one should i take we're only taking one i only like one of these let's do it again i only want one i only want one the lord knows i ain't got the time to, okay there we go <laughs> all right <clears throat> so we got one this is our Kuan Yin card. It says, tender trust, beloved body. Interesting. Hmm. Okay. Let's see, where's my little book? Uh-oh. Oh, right here. So immediately I'm already getting the feeling of like a protector of maybe it's that it's right over this card where I feel like there's like that mentor energy that's coming in. And also maybe it's like a mentoring from your older self to your younger self or your younger self to your older self. So let's look and see. What's page 20 say? Yeah, I want to read this to you guys because these were these just so well said and so well done. And I just feel like it's totally worth it. I want you to feel at home here upon the earth and to realize you have come here not only to serve but to take delight, to become alive, to exercise your power of choice, to manifest a destiny that is brilliant and beautiful and perfectly suited to you. So I have given you a sacred animal, a devoted body that has offered its entire life in service to your soul. When you love this sacred animal and let him or her love you in return, then you are able to manifest your divine destiny as a radiant, vibrant expression in the world. Trust that your body knows how to process pleasure and that even and even that which is not so pleasurable and will do so naturally when allowed to remain open and connected to life. This openness keeps your body empowered to not only digest, but to complete the cycle of progressing of sorry of processing and experience. It does this by generating a natural source of energy, not unlike food being converted into energy. You can then use that energy in an intentional and empowered way to express, to create, to manifest. Um, source says that's enough that's good but I really feel like you know you guys have been pushing for so long you know you've been doing and doing and doing and maybe you just need some time off to kind of reflect also and just feel that you don't have to go so hard in the paint you know maybe you can just take some time to you know even if you don't feel like a lot I feel that you guys are giving me resistance there and that you're like well I don't have time I don't have the time to take off I can't do that because I've run this business and I'm the one who created it and if I'm not there then who's gonna do it and the word is 
I keep getting reverence in my mind. And to me, that just means taking quiet time, sitting in quiet, sitting in stillness, you know, enjoying because life is supposed to be fun. This career path that you chose is supposed to be fun. You, you wanted to do this at one point and you have to rediscover that fun. You have to rediscover that there is a balance there. Some parts are going to be a little frustrating and confusing and not knowing what to do, but I do feel like, I don't know. It just feels like there's just something that you guys have to rely and trust more on within the universe that it's going to get taken care of. It's going to be all right. Um, and you can take time to rest and that's okay too. Um, and discover new things and it's okay if you don't want to do it anymore honestly it's okay if that's even if you know if maybe it's like a family business or something and you just don't want to do it anymore i don't know but whatever it is it's okay trust that whatever steps you take next even if they're small steps even if it's just like oh i just want to write a little bit in the morning for myself you know doing something for yourself is going to lead you to this mentoring energy that's going to get you into the right mindset to either rebirth this company or this thing that you've been working on or completely start over and do something new because i see something new coming into your into your you know new or just rebirthing a transformation of sorts like it just gives that kind of energy it feels like that all right let's do our moonology deck and that will be um that will be helping us with our time frames Ooh, okay, balance spiritually. Ugh, I can't talk today. Hello, balance spirituality and practicality. Full moon in Pisces. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, we're gonna get three of these babies. So I'm excited for that. I'm not gonna shuffle this one because I pre-shuffled it before I started. Um, but there we go. The energy is gaining momentum. And what else? What else? What else? What else? Waxing moon. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, we got two. Look at that. We got two. We got two. We got confidence is your key to success and the end of a tough cycle approaches. See, I told you. I told you this stagnation, this feeling of like, oh, I don't have anywhere to go. Like, it's coming to an end. It's going to be over soon. Let's put this over here. And... I do feel that, you know, maybe this feeling of stagnation has, you know, muddled your confidence a bit. Maybe it's made you feel a little like ugh, a little tired, you know, a little worn out. Um, but I feel like, you know, soon you're going to be feeling that momentum again. You're going to try some new things. You're going to balance spiritually. And I feel like it may be within the next couple of months. Like I'm, I'm seeing the number three. There's like three birds here and the waxing moon. Um, it may be in the time of a waxing moon. That one really sticks out to me. Um, but it also might be at the beginning of the year. So I'm, there's the Capricorn here and the Pisces. So it could be like January, February, March-ish, you know, that something might be going on um, for you, depending on what time you're watching this reading, because it is timeless. It doesn't matter when you see it. Um, but, and if not, you know, in that, Pisces or Capricorn time like just thinking of like just trying to see like where that falls like maybe it's two months maybe it's you know the you know Capricorn is like the first month so maybe it's in with, within one month this is uh Pisces is like the third month so maybe it's in the third month because I got the number three here you know so or maybe it's new moon in Leo which is the eighth month uh, so think about that uh, meditate on this. This is something that I think is going to be really important for you guys um, in discerning like what to do next um, because you're definitely like on the right path um, in terms of like figuring it out. I see you guys being in this mindset of getting it together. Um, so let's finish this reading off with a final card from the Archetypes deck. <laughs> they just make the card reading more fun. Okay. Oh, it fell. It ran. 
We've got the desert. Yep, I knew it. Yep, it's just feeling of dryness. You feel like you don't have nothing. You guys feel like you don't have nowhere to go, but I want you to know that within the desert, there is some green, there is an oasis, there's something waiting in there, and it's that seeing beyond that's gonna show you exactly where that bit of green is and where to go next. And it's the desert may seem ominous and long and wide and just like full of illusions, but you're gonna, if you focus, if you try other things, you know, in the desert, you know, it's hard to find water, it's hard to find resources. And I feel like that's where you guys feel right now is you feel like kind of led astray, like you're like, where the hell am I going? And you know, I've come this far and I was so guided and now it's like, there's nothing for me to take. But you can always see the sun, you can always see the moon. And if you can see those things, then there is the possibility that there is something else beyond what is right in front of you. You can keep walking at some point, at some point you're gonna hit, you're gonna find something, even in the driest of desert, even in the farthest, widest of plains, you're gonna find something, there's gonna be an end to it. Um, so I hope this helped you guys. I hope this gave you a little bit more reading. I'm gonna, or a little bit, I can't talk, a little bit more insight. Um, into this reading and how your career may change in the next couple of months, years, I don't know, or what's going on right now, what's coming next, you know? Um, I'm rooting for you, I love you, take care. See you soon, bye. Hello, my pile twos. Okay, you guys chose the Wild Kuan Yin Oracle and the TV Stone. Um, this is a totally, wow, this energy is totally different from the last. Um, so let's see what's coming out of here because it does feel a bit different. So I'm gonna take our TV stone and put it up here. And I'm starting to get a little heady, like a little bit of like, hmm, like a humming almost in my head. Um, maybe there's like some songs that might come through, some lyrics or something that might hit for you guys in this. So what is going on next career-wise in my pile? twos what's going on next career wise in my pile of twos so we're gonna draw some more cards and we're gonna use some tarot and see what's going on um i'm not like super specific when i do my spreads i just kind of do what feels right to me so usually uh it'll be about three or four cards but we'll see see where we go all right here we go let's get this get this move in that baby wants to pop out okay Ooh, baby. Ooh, baby. I like it like that oh yeah that's what came into my head immediately okay she tames by laying down the staff and rope hmm. that's the first that's the second one that came out the other one we haven't flipped over yet and there we go okay Oh, this one's cool. Grandmother of love, granddaughter of life. And then this, ooh, look at this cool pattern that we got. How cool is that? I love when stuff like that happens, it's so neat. And this one honestly is meant to go sideways also, which is also interesting. So I'm gonna, should I flip it? Oh, I'm gonna leave it. We're gonna leave it like that. I don't know, it just feels like it's going up. Like it feels like shooting upward. It feels like going toward something cool okay so we've got blessing of the kata bestowed and kata is this rope this uh, piece of fabric here and I don't necessarily remember personally what it means but when I see the card it's almost like she's dancing it's almost like she is so maybe some of you guys are dancers um, maybe some of you guys are people who work with cloth you so um, Maybe you are stylists, um, something like that. But it's almost like very unconventional. I'm getting the feeling of like, maybe you have a very unconventional or like a, a crafting career. Um, you do something with like your hands. Um, you're a very hands-on person or your body. Like it's not necessarily with your voice. You don't have to necessarily speak a lot, um, but I get the feeling that that could be you guys. Um, also very grounded personality, but also this like want to like go into a higher consciousness, which is very interesting. And then I feel like it says grandmother of love, granddaughter of life. I feel like some of you guys are also quite wise. And maybe you've been here a couple times um, on this, you know, through iterations of 
past life or ancestors or whatever. Um, but the main one that's sticking out to me is this she tames by lying down the staff and the rope. And I also feel this, <laughs> let me just go back here really quickly. I feel like this grandmother of love, granddaughter of life is that maybe you are mentoring someone currently um, and you really want to see them take on the next steps of whatever it is that you want to do. You're, you're weaving and maybe it's like you're a teacher, maybe you want to teach, but it's almost as though you're weaving together this amazing tapestry of things that you want to give back to a community. Um, and you really like building and, you know, working like it just feels like working with your hands is such a big part of this. And it says she tames by lying down the staff and the rope. So I feel like maybe, you know, in your career, you have some people under you that are a bit un they're a bit not they're not really rule followers and maybe it's like annoying to you that they often disregard your wisdom um but you have to remember that it's not for you to guide everyone you can't you know you can't just teach and expect everyone to receive everything that you say or everything that you do um and it could be a sibling it could be a daughter or a son um and you just want them to do something, a friend, you just want them to do something so badly, you want them to do well, and you want them to, you know, see your example, but they're, it just seems like they're not getting it. Like they're just missing the boat. And also there's this want for like recognition that I feel from pile two, is that you guys really are looking for someone to see you. Like you're looking for someone to see, oh, look at these amazing things that I've created, things that I've done. Um, and it just seems like the people that you're involved with right now are just not seeing that. And, you know, you could be a teacher mentoring kids or teaching kids or, you know, maybe it's in your shop or place of work or whatever. But I think it's time to move on from that thought. It feels like it's time to move on from that feeling of needing to be recognized by the people that can't see your greatness um i think it's time to move on and i feel like a moving on energy is what we're getting right here um and i actually have been called i use the true heart tarot for group one but I, for you guys i've been called to use the tarot of the divine which is my newer deck but i feel like it's going to be more fitting for this pile too it just caught me it just feels like it's it needs to be that instead so we're gonna do that instead. Because I want you guys to get the clearest message you can. Uh, all right. Let's see what kind of tarot we get. Okay, first off, Knight of Wands. This comes out so often. Like this thing, whoever my viewers are, <laughs> the people that are watching this, the Knight of Wands, wow, those just came out in that one too. We got one more. We got one more. Oh, wow. Two more? Holy, holy. Put this one back. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So, we've got the devil. Yes, 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 yes. I saw that. I knew that was coming out. Um, let's actually put these down here. We've got the devil. We've got the queen of cups. We've got the Knight of Wands, we've got the Queen of Wands, and we've got the Four of Wands. So, ooh, all right. I feel though this here, this this movement here, um, this devil card, and it's a heavy card usually. People assume that it's gonna be something, oh my God, it's detrimental, it's the end of the world. It's not, it really is not. But what I feel, because we also have the four wands down here on the opposite sides, is I feel there's this honesty that needs to happen with you about what you're doing and why you do it. Um, because maybe you're doing it for the wrong reasons or 
The reason you're mentoring is to gain that recognition, hoping that it'll come from those people and it's just not gonna come. And that is the dishonesty that comes with sometimes with, you know, people who have power or who have, you know, uh, some sort of heightened, be, you know, just height and power, you know, they just have a power over others, you know, and it's annoying to you that these rebellious people are not listening. They're not hearing you know, and you've been calling out, but the reason they're not hearing is because you're going about it for the wrong reasons. You have to recognize that the recognition has to come from within. And that's, I feel like, you know, going to happen through this Knight of Wands, if that's what's calling me, is like this understanding that no matter how wild or crazy or, you know, whatever you are, like, you can see this little you is sitting here watching this amazing thing happen and they're just like in awe and seeing that you know there's a rebellious side to you there's a part of you that's like those rebellious people seeing the mirror in them and understanding and recognizing that they may seem wild and crazy and rambunctious and rebellious but like you also are like that you're also a person of you know wanting to gain you know that kind of feeling of recognition and wanting to be seen wanting to show off sometimes, you know, and be loud and proud and all that. And maybe you've just been too shy. Maybe you've been too quiet with your gifts. You know, maybe you just have, you're just an onlooker and you're watching these people who are just doing whatever they want to do and not listening to you about this, 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 and this. And you're a little jealous and it's okay to feel jealousy because, you know, that's where I feel like this queen of cups energy comes in is like transmuting that transmuting and calming the fire within. Maybe some of you guys are fire signs and you need a little bit of water to calm that down, which means getting in touch with your feminine energy and going into, you know, softness and meditation and grounding, going out into nature and being a little more grateful for the people around you because I feel like there are people around you that you're just missing, that you're not seeing that actually really do see you but you're so blinded because you're so worried about these others, these youngsters, it almost seems like they're just like, you know, dun, 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 you know, doodling along that you disregard the people that actually really see your worth. Um, and because you are a jewel, you are this amazing, stunning, quiet energy and the, that quiet energy is so powerful and it's okay to be a quiet energy. You don't have to match with these other, you know, and, and then when you do, it can be in a different way. It doesn't have to be clam clamoring on pots to get attention. You know, maybe some of you guys like to get attention in the wrong ways, but this is, this is the Queen of Cups is calling you to find regalness, regain your self-respect and self-love and know that, you know, this next portion of your life is headed towards abundance. This queen of wands, this solo energy that I feel here, this independent energy away from this, these people or these things, moving on away from it and sailing. She looks like Moana, like she is, you know, how far I'll go, the Moana song is in my head. And that is just you taking initiative and moving away from this old, so that these old unappreciative, you know, seemingly not right things and going toward things that actually really matter, that really you really wanna do. And maybe it is that stuff that you're already doing and maybe you just need to find a new crowd, you know, a new group of people because there's this four of wands here and I, I, it's right after this because when you find that independence, you're gonna be in holy freaking matrimony. You're gonna be living la vida loca you're gonna be smiling and the universe is gonna be smiling right back at you because it's just so proud that you were so in love with yourself that you took the time to discover and unveil and, and let go of these previous things and unveil, you know, that need for, for acceptance and accept it within yourself. Whew, that was wordy, but I hope the, the message got across. Okay. Um, Let's see what other Oracle cards we have. How else is career gonna change for my pile two? 
I can feel you guys feeling a little heavy off of this. But just know the universe never gives you something you can't handle. You know? You guys are tough. You're strong. And I don't like those words, but that's just what's coming in my head. It's like you're buckling down and you're letting go of things that don't serve you. And that is very brave. And you're finding your brave. You're finding your brave and you're seeing the mirrors and you're following and you're understanding and accepting of those changes, you know? Change is tough. Change can be tricky. Change can feel like not what you expected, you know? You may be thinking like, oh gosh, I, I wanna, um, wow, I think, did group one get this too? I don't know, I don't remember. Maybe that was in another reading. Um, but conclusions are within reach. I like the sound of that. Conclusion, conclusions are within reach. Then we've got, yeah, you're very close to achieving your goal. Guys, 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 this is so cool. This feels good. This feels good. Like the outcome of this is going to be very rich and um, fruitful. Feels like it's going gonna, it's gonna to bring about some good stuff. Um, so let's just move this down for a second so we can put these guys up here. So we've got conclusions are within reach. You're very close to achieving your goal. Your dreams need a practical plan and a personal issue reaches resolution. So yeah, I told you guys like this is coming your way. You know, you've poured passion into this previous thing for so long and it's gonna show and someone's gonna recognize you. The right people are gonna see you. And they're going to want to be around you and they're going to want to enjoy what you enjoy and they're going to want to learn from you and also teach you. You know, maybe you guys have just spent so much time giving in hopes of receiving and there hasn't been that reciproca reciprocation that you wanted that it's time for you to, when you move on, to see that there is a possibility that, that, is, that that's real for you. That you can have people around you that really enjoy your company. Um, and your dreams need a practical plan. Full moon and Taurus. And I, this could be that maybe, you know, in the Taurus uh, season or into Cancer. Yeah, between Taurus and Cancer, I feel like is your transformative time? Is this career change going to happen? Um, and it could, you know, the month of Taurus is month five and the month of Cancer is month seven, I think. So it could be five to seven months. Um, but I also, yeah, I, it, it's five to seven months or within that Taurus to Cancer time period, which is like a three month uh, gap. So I think Creating a plan to get yourself on the right path, doing that introspective thought and really being honest with yourself, divulging, you know, I told you the feminine is about like divulging those uncomfortable things, bringing them to the surface and finding some gentleness in the discomfort that we feel um, in the healing. And knowing that you too can have this like, wild, expansive personality if that's what you want. Um, but there's no need to look on jealously, you know, there's no need to envy others, think that they're ahead of you or think that you're being left behind or that you're not going to get the same recognition as others because you will, once you start going with the right intentions, um, I feel that for you pile two. Let's do one more little shebang shebang here final little cards for my pile twos. Pile two, pile twos. I see you guys definitely overcoming these issues. They're personal issues. It's just things inside you that just gotta be worked out, you know? That you gotta be honest with yourself and do the healing for. That's not always easy, but it is possible. Alright, what's our final card? Let's see. A powerful move, yes. It's time to move forward. It's time to move on. It's time to go to the next group of people. It's t As soon as you do, I'm telling you, it'll be like the queen is standing up there. Standing up there. You may think that, you know, 
you're in the king spot, but really the queen, the quiet one, the feminine energy, the one that comes from behind is the one that's really racking up the, you know, the, the, the shine, like you're going to shine. You're going to shine. You're going to, you're going to shine. You're going to see everything. And I'm, I'm getting like maybe even six months, you know, I said five to seven, six is right in the middle of seven. So I, I, re, I still, cause we have one in five, which is six. Um, I just feel like this career shift is going to put you in the next mode or the next life process and you're going to feel pretty good about it. So thank you so much, pile two. It was so nice to chat with you guys today. I hope this reading helped you. I love you. Take care. Bye-bye. Hello, pile three, and welcome to your reading on what is next in your career path. So you guys chose the Moonology deck and the Moonstone. Really cool combo. I totally was not planning that. It just called to me and I was like, oh, Moonstone, and this one sounds a little roasty and dirty. She's been in my life for quite some time, but she's a solid, she's a solid. She feels comfy for me and I hope she feels comfy for you and she's bringing you some of that, like, good, good. All right, let's put her over there. Okay, let me get this stuff out of the way too. Um, so it's like more clear. All right, so we're gonna draw some cards. And from the Oracle deck, then we're going to do some tarot. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we're going with. Let's see what's happening. What's happening? Um, for some reason, when I started Pile 3, I was saying, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. That song came in my head. Um, not sure why um, yet, but maybe it's significant to you. Maybe it means something to you. Maybe it's like an old happy thing but it feels kind of happy for pile three it feels kind of happy i'm gonna get a sip of water sorry guys give me one second okay ah, la, 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 la. let's go let's see what's going on career wise what's changing career wise what's coming next for my pile three take time to breathe it out that's our first one okay What's going on for my pile three? Mm -hmm. Those guys want to come together. Oh, he's calling me too. Okay. All right, we'll do one more. Ooh, two more. Okay. Actually, let's do one. I think one again. All right, because she's the one that flipped over. All right, so we got Take Time to Breathe It Out, Disseminating Moon. We've got, you're very close to achieving your goal. Man, that's come up for, that came up for pile two also. A new start is coming. Hmm. Balance spirituality and practicality. Interesting. And a time to give rather than take. Okay. Hmm. So we've got Gibbous Moon, New Moon, Full Moon in Pisces, and New Moon in Virgo. All right. Pile three. You guys are calm individuals. Um, I feel very calm. Your energy is very still. Almost like you know exactly where you're going. You know exactly how you want things to work out and i really see big things for you pile three i see you guys working in a field that has to do with a lot of speaking um also maybe something that has to do with service you know maybe you guys are nurses um you work for nonprofits, um or you got stuff that you want to do you know you you want to give a life you, you want to give your life to service. And I think it's very apparent that whatever you're doing right now is propelling you right in there. Like you're right there. Um, I think pile two got this one too. So you guys, maybe you resonated with pile two as well, um, but you're right in there. And it seems like 
you are confused because maybe there's been some sort of block or some sort of obstacle that has recently come into the picture. And it's something that maybe is confusing because it seemingly has nothing to do with your career per se. Maybe it's like a love life thing or another kind of relationship that's a little toxic or a little draining and it's disturbing your calm energy and maybe it's your work in your current work environment um but i think i don't know why i feel like you guys just got to get out you're, you're right on the edge and i think getting out of wherever you are or giving space is what's going to help you guys um and this is a time to give rather than take. But I don't know if that really applies to you necessarily as a person. I think you guys are givers. And I think that's what that is, sh is showing is that you guys are givers. But I think you need to recognize when people are taking too much from you as people of service. And recognizing like, oh shoot, like I, maybe I'm giving too much. And people are taking advantage of the fact that I give so much so freely. And you're not saving enough enough time um, for yourself. And I think that lack of time, that lack of attention to this your your career and what you love to do is what's causing you to allow that block to like stop you and kind of get in your way. Um, And I'm not saying you have to like cut these people, cut this thing off or, you know, maybe it's even like a something that you're doing to yourself. Like it could be like a bad practice. Maybe, you, you know, you abuse substances um, and if not abuse substances, it's just something that you rely on. Um, whether it be alcohol, you know, weed, other kinds of drugs. Um, it's it's almost like those kind of things that don't have anything to do with your career. You know, whether it's a person, whether it's those things, it's just draining you of your energy. And you're not able to put as much back into yourself that you need because you're it's being taken out of you. Um, and as a person who's already a giver, who's already a caretaker, a nurturer, it's going to make you feel very tired and exhausted and maybe even make you sick. So... You gotta take time to slowly, you know, if it is a substance abuse, like wean yourself away or find other things to, you know, to do, join a group that will help you with this. Um, exercising, you know, yoga, meditation, like whatever can get you in the right mindset of that because you guys are really close to achieving what it is you love. And it's this little small hiccup that's kind of like in the way. And it says balance spirituality and practicality. And that means like taking your time. You don't have to like rush and like chop things off right now. But just understanding and realizing that it has to happen and it, it will happen over time. Because this is destiny for you. This, this thing that you want is destiny. It is something that is called you for so long. You knew immediately when you saw that, you know, career path, you were like, oh, this is my shit. This is what I love to do. And it's just, you know, it could be even like a, an abuse of technology, you know, that's in the way. Maybe it's too much social media. Um, and it's just like almost like wasting the time. But also knowing that, you know, when I say wasting the time, it's just like prolonging you know, blocking when you could easily be enjoying the fruitfulness of this, whatever's coming. Um, yeah, let's draw, let's do some more. Let's, let's see what else. Um, we'll do the Kuan Yin first and then we'll do some tarot. Hmm. Yeah, immediately we got wild rider blessings bestowed. Like that this is coming for you like the blessings are there if you're able to like release this need to this little bit of a 
it's like a small chaotic thing. It's like this little thing that's just like tripping you up and it's just like distracting you from your goals. You know, like you started as maybe like a very straightforward, like whatever person, but maybe like pain or things that have happened outside or, you know, just bothered you and they got to you. And so, you know, now you're relying on this other thing to fill the space when in fact, like the space has already been full and you don't need to look outside of yourself or outside of, you know, what you have for that blessing because it's already on top of you. It's already right there with you and you are right there. You are right on the edge of being like this masterful, beautiful masterpiece, you know? That's what I, that's what I got. That's what I feel. Um, let's see. Do I want to use, let's see. I'm going to use my other tarot. Um, I'm going to use the divine tarot for you too. I used, um, for pile one, I used the true intuitive, but I'm going to use the divine tarot for you guys as well. Same as pile two, which I feel like you guys are kind of close in hand. Maybe you guys, you, you and pile two have similarities and maybe listening to pile two, you might find some things that resonate. Um, may not be everything because you are a pile three. You are your own person. Ooh, these cards are trying to come out like right now. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Yeah, this. What's going on career wise next for my pile threes? What else did my pile threes go? What's the next coming career wise? Pile threes? Yeah, there we go. Yay. Okay. All right. So. This one flipped over first. We've got the 10 of cups. Yes, see, I told you, like, you are right here. You are right here, 10 of cups. It's like the blessings are at your feet. Like, it's just amazing that you guys have this. Um, we've got the two of cups, and we've got the ace of coins, and we've got the three of coins. Um, I don't know why it's bothering me that there's not one right here. I'm just going to draw one more just because it just feels un incomplete. And maybe that's just, but, you know, spirit's never wrong. Um, if no other card comes out, it's just going to be uneven. <laughs> there we go. There we go, too. Okay. It's still uneven. Source was like, look, chill. All right. So we've got the three of coins. We've got the magician. And we've got the page of coins. I'm going to switch these around, actually. The magician and the page of coins. So, what I feel is you're at this, like, you have this unhealthy relationship with this thing. This thing that you've developed because of pain, because of not knowing um, because of lack of faith, it's holding you back. It's keeping you in this state of right on the edge of glory. And because I came in my head, right on the edge of glory, you know, Lady Gaga. And it's keeping you from this abundance. It's keeping you from this golden ticket, if you will, that you've been given. Um, because the thing is, you see it, you're aware of it. It's not like a lack of awareness is the problem. It's just that you're almost just like ignoring, like this three of coins is just like, you're ignoring what's around you. You're ignoring the demons. Um, and it's almost like this, this disregard for the fact that that things, the, that, that part of you needs healing. Um, you're not willing to see it. You're not willing to transmute it. And it's okay because I know that like it brings you a sort of sense of peace. But real peace, real calm comes when you recognize and transform those two demons into your angels, into your guardians, into what makes you stronger. You know, that's real peace, not this ignorance you know, not this ignoring of those things, not the disregard 
you know that doesn't get you anywhere it doesn't really help you and it makes you um, aloof and detached and unable to really connect and you don't want to miss these blessings you don't want them to go past you and you have to go through this big cycle again and then start over you want to be you're right on the edge of it so drop that shit be the magician you know transmute transmute you know don't allow people to continue to take from you don't allow things that are outside of you know you to take from you to take this magic away from you like transmute that energy transform it's time to transform it's time to really transform yourself and the moon well and it's awesome that you guys picked the moonology deck and this moonstone because what that is giving me like it's coming back to me again is this moon situation is the moon and the moon card in tarot is like the sense of like illusion or you know not paying attention but it's also the sense of like undiscovered potential and um you guys have just not seen it maybe you just haven't any had anybody say it to you yet like yo you're awesome you're so cool you've done so much for everyone you've done so much for everybody and we're so grateful and maybe nobody's ever said that to you but i'm saying it to you right now so you can hear it and know it and understand that we are grateful for you we're thankful that you were here for us You're, we're thankful for your services we're thank you for thankful for everything that you gave and that you've been giving and now it's time for you to soar on it's time for you to continue your service but in a way that's also meaningful and touches with your own heart not just with you know the hope that it's going to touch everyone else's um that's some powerful stuff right there but it's that's 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 sometimes i just love i love you know these readings because i feel like it just gives you this guidance the stuff that you already know the stuff that you already know and you just needed to hear it from someone else you just needed a little bit of reassurance and i hope that this is like super reassuring for you yeah exposed and revealed stop ignoring that stuff stop stop pretending like it doesn't exist stop pretending because you do know you've seen it you know that it's there um it's, that's all it's just those two um, divine matrix like you're in you're in the mode you're right in the divine matrix like you're in there like swimwear bruh like the exposed and revealed is just stop ignoring that stuff show show your vulnerability it's okay to have that it's okay to feel that it's okay to let yourself be exposed even if you need help even if you need to go ask for help like let that be something stop hiding stop ignoring stop pretending like it doesn't exist because you have everything you want it is right in front of you like it's there like you're right on the edge and it just takes a little like one more jump it literally will take just one more jump one more jump to get you there and that's just this this releasing of that um but also I see the number 4-4, four, four, which is one of my, you know, because, you know, this career path that you've chosen of service, you know, is just so serendipitous with your giving. You know, it's just crazy that, you know, and the moon and the, it's just amazing. The moon stone and the moonology, like you are so in touch with your feminine nurturing side. Um, but we have to balance that. There has to be a balance there. And that's what you're just trying to find. And. The divine matrix is just you're in that you are in that number 44 is just like trying to speak with your guides and follow that divine guidance and know that you're being guided in the right direction so maybe it's these words maybe it's like some words that someone else has said to you but just recognizing that you know or maybe it's words that you hear in your mind but just recognize that that stuff's true it's for you you but you're here for a reason you're going you're you're meant to go through this you know um i will draw one more card from the unknown archetypes deck circles love circles yeah i'm rooting for you guys because i feel like you know maybe this has made you guys a little uh emotionally tired and you're just exhausted 
because you've just given so much. And bravo to you for being such an amazing human and recognizing that giving is a way of receiving. Like, we are so grateful for you um, in that. Um, we're just gonna take all four of these. You guys got four and I just wanna give you all of them because you need them. We've got the poet. I'm gonna put it down here. We've got the poet. Can you see those? I hope you can. Maybe you can. Put it up here. We've got the poet. We've got Thotinos. We've got Threshold. Oof, I need to put that here. Threshold. You're there. You're right there. We've got the village. We've got the mirror, the reflecting, the seeing. And we've got Agape. Yes. Oh my god. Like, <sighs> pile three. You guys, the sacredness, like the, the mirror, there's also a moon here. It, it's just like the reflection and the moon is like reflection, you know, like it's all of that. Like it is just reflecting and actually seeing yourself for who you are and acknowledging your faults and knowing that it doesn't take anything away from what you've given. It doesn't take away from your goodness because you're recognizing your shadow self. You know, agape is alignment of all the chakras. It's alignment of you with your higher self, with your higher power. You know, it's getting back in there because once you expose and you recognize your shadow self, then you get more in touch with your light self and you're able to see even more and spread the light to others. And it's just so magical. And you're right there. You're on the threshold. And this thought to the village and the poet is just you being honest. Like thought to is about being honest. It's about finding honesty. It's about being real with yourself and recognizing the demons because there's going to be forgiveness and you know this poet carver immediately i think of edgar Allan poe um and maybe that's just the you know the ravens and the darkness but i just feel like you know you may feel like misunderstood but just know that the whole universe has your back and you feel like maybe nobody is hearing you when you say like I need help in the quiets of your mind or I need guidance in the quiet of your mind. But there is a village, the village. It, there's so many people that are willing to help you. You just got to go out and be honest and show them who you are. If you show them that you need help, if you show people and stop ignoring and pretending like it's not happening beneath the surface, your career is just going to take off because it, this is completely, this little hiccup, this thing is like, unrelated it doesn't have anything to do really with your career other than being a block it's just something in your way and you got to kick that shit out of there so you can go you can soar you can have that ten of cups you know you can have the blessings bestowed upon you like with that the the wild rider you know like you can have all of that this ten of cups this this everything the all is yours like it is yours you're right there and it's like you're about to step off you're about to jump off this like into this unknowingness from the darkness so i'm rooting for you pile three i know you can do this i am sending you all my love and my blessings and faith and trust in the universe i hope that you can find um you got this it is it's it's gonna be okay it's gonna be okay I'm going to end the reading there. I love you so much. Have a great, great, great rest of your day. I am sending you all the good vibes. Okay? Bye-bye.